Last week saw some constrained moves on global indices, with the fear index or VIX maintaining its elevated levels at over 22. It was an especially dismal week for resource counters, with Harmony Gold Mining falling by over 20% in the trading week, followed closely by Northern, African Rainbow Minerals, Lonman and Kumba Iron Ore. Last week's top gainer was Allied Electronics Corp, as the market reacted positively to the company's announcement that it was disposing of its GSM subscriber base to MTN, Celsi and Vodacom. Tiger Brands gained more than 6% in a day after Group CEO Peter McClary announced he would be stepping down after seven years of service. In the same week, BHP Billiton announced it would be seeking additional funding for general corporate purposes as the company looks to also refinance debt in areas with low interest rates. Commodity prices continue to struggle and today platinum has fallen by a further 2% to $931. Brent crude continues to consolidate in a range-bound fashion, trading at around $48. The local index is fairly flat in morning trade, with resources once again under pressure. Key economic data out this week will be coming from the USA with ADP non-farm numbers on Wednesday, manufacturing PMR from China and Great Britain on Thursday, and the official jobs print for non-farm payrolls on Friday with the unemployment rate. Our local shares market sees a number of stocks go ex-dividend today, namely African Rainbow Minerals, Argent, Cap Industrial Holdings, Metrophile, MMR, Mustek Limited, One Logics Group, and Spur. Astropack Limited gives us interim results on Wednesday. Staying with the local market and the biggest gainers on our top 40 for today are SAB Miller, RMI, MTN, Discovery, and Remgro Limited. The biggest laggers are MMI, Anglo-American PLC, BHP Bulletin, Vodacom, and Anglo Gold Ashanti.